Hey everybody, guess who's back? I know, I'm sorry, I was gone for a lot longer than the 30 days I originally did suggest I would be taking off, but I do think it was the right decision. I feel a heck of a lot better than I did before. Not completely out of the woods, it's not like you just fix everything in a single month, but, you know, I, I did spend the time wisely reconnecting with some family and friends, watched a lot of anime with my wife, played a few games that I've wanted to try out for a while and haven't had the chance, such as Hollow Knight, that was quite fun. Um, and also, it just turns out, working only 40 hours a week? Extremely manageable. Who'd have thunk? There were some other events that occurred in the last month, some of which were good and some not so good. Um, on the bad side, for example, my car got totaled. I'm still dealing with the aftermath of that. I don't have a functioning car. Uh, also, my external hard drive that had all my YouTube templates and art and everything else? Fried. Completely fried. No backup. Completely lost everything I've worked on for the last five years. So every new video, every bit of music, every bit of art that you see is stuff I've had to put together from scratch once again. So that ended up being a lot of fun. But on the plus side, uh, you may notice that behind me, a lot of uh, stuff has been removed from shelves in the wall, and that's because I bought a house in the last month. So in less than a week, I'm going to be moving into a new location, which is so exciting because my wife and I have been saving up for this moment for five years. Really, really cool. So all of those things play a factor in how I'm feeling right about now, and definitely I'm in a better place than I was. I think the biggest lesson that I've learned, though, is that uh, my stress and anxiety levels drop simply by working less. I am a workaholic, and 80 hours a week is completely unsustainable. No surprises there. So going forward, what I'm going to do is place a limit upon myself so I can never get back to that point again. 20 hours a week on YouTube. That is the cap going forward. And even then, that is not the ideal. Ideally, it's a lot less than that. It's just if I find myself working on a particularly difficult project, or there's a lot of editing and recording required for some videos, if I find myself creeping up to that 20 hours a week, all right, tough luck. That means I'm going to have to cut it off there. And if I have less videos during the week, that's going to have to be acceptable. So maybe eight videos instead of 11 sometimes, depending on what I'm doing. There are other alternatives, of course. Um, I have been doing particularly difficult content as of late that's really stretched me, such as some Iron Man achievement runs in various different games. And those seem fine to you, like you only see the content that I release. What you don't see is like the uh, 15 hours of restarts that occur in the background that I had to delete because it wasn't going the way I wanted it to. So you don't see all that stuff in the background. Maybe easier content is something I'm gonna have to do once in a while. Or maybe just less committing content in general, right? Uh, it could also mean that I just need to be more selective with the types of games that I play so I have a minimal amount of editing time required. You know, we were starting to do a lot of games where I would record for about an hour and a half to two hours for each 20 minute video. And uh, that was just too much, it was too much. So if I have to do those kinds of videos, you just get less of them over the week. But for the most part, I stick to a standard let's play style of content with minimal editing required. That does suck because I admit I wanted to move toward quality content, the sort of things you'd find from, let's say, Spiffing Brit or Feedback Gaming, where they'll do an entire campaign of something awesome and condense it down into a much more engaging, uh, fast-paced video. But I'm finding I just don't have the time to do things like that. So we're gonna have to put that completely on the wayside, at least for now. And of course, this does have its own negative consequences on the channel's bottom line. We're talking less views, less viewer engagement, and as a result, a lower paycheck, which is scary at a time when I am trying to buy a house and furnish the darn thing, but yeah, I think that's gonna have to be okay. Uh, you know, I've been blessed up to this point. I've certainly had a lot of support from you guys, whether that be through Patreon. You guys have been fantastic for, uh, while I was gone. I'm really, I'm amazed. Um, also, uh, you know, the store for merchandise or for buying games with Chrono GG. You know, those things have been fantastic options for me. And maybe that means I need to be a bit looser with some sponsorship rules so I can accept a few more of those and help offset the difference. Those do go a long way. Which I know some people don't like because they accuse me of being a sellout. But if I can push back on that real quick, I turn down like 95% of the requests that are sent to me. I get stuff for mobile games and before video promos for VPNs and Amazon Business business classes and whatever else it's going to be. And I turn it all down because I don't want to be that sellout. I'm very selective about what I play and whether I think it matches with my audience so I can be honest and transparent with you guys. So I may have to accept some more of those. Maybe. We'll see. It's certainly an option, but I don't plan on losing myself in the process. Don't you worry. But overall, I feel more refreshed. I feel like that's going to result in better, more balanced content. I think that me setting some reasonable limits on myself is going to prevent me from getting to that burnout stage and maybe make YouTube into a hobby again instead of a job. So thank you guys again very much for the break and all the universal support I got in the last video. It's overwhelming and so very much appreciated. I am looking forward to getting back in the saddle starting tomorrow 
And of course, I will see you then. So again, thank you, and bye bye